Welcome back to UAT Solution. In this tutorial, we will discuss about the cooler or evaporator and its types used in chillers. Cooler have two main types when it comes to chillers. One, shell and tube type cooler. Two, flooded type coolers. Coolers are further divided into three categories. One, single pass cooler. Two, two pass coolers. Three, three pass coolers. Shell and tube type cooler. Parts used in a shell tube type cooler and their functions are as follows. 1. Shell where water flows. 2. Tubes where refrigerant flow. 3. Baffles to slow down the water flow while turning the water movement into wave form for maximum heat exchange. Shell and tube heat exchanger. This type of cooler uses a series of tubes and a shell to transfer heat from the refrigerant to a secondary fluid such as water. The refrigerant flows through the tubes while the secondary fluid flows through the shell. In a shell and tube type evaporator, water and refrigerant enters the cooler form opposite inlets to maximize the heat exchange process. Flooded type coolers. Parts used in flooded type cooler and their functions are as follows. 1. Shell where refrigerant flows. 2. Tubes where water flows. In a flooded type cooler, refrigerant enters from the bottom of the cooler and exists from the top of the cooler, while water enters from the side of the cooler and exists from the other side of the cooler if it is single pass type cooler. In a two or three pass cooler, water will enter from the side of cooler and exists from the same side. Further three categories of cooler are the same as shell and tube or flooded type cooler. The only difference is its passes. As shown in the picture, a one-pass heat exchanger, also known as a single-pass heat exchanger, has the fluid, either the refrigerant or the chilled water, flow through the tube once and then out of the heat exchanger. This design is typically used in smaller chiller systems with lower heat transfer requirements. In contrast, a two-pass heat exchanger, also known as a double-pass heat exchanger, has the fluid flow through the tube twice before exiting the heat exchanger. The fluid enters the heat exchanger at one end and flows through one set of tubes before turning around and flowing back through another set of tubes in the opposite direction. This design increases the heat transfer efficiency of the heat exchanger, making it suitable for larger chiller systems with higher heat transfer requirements. Where a three-pass heat exchanger, also known as a triple-pass heat exchanger, has the fluid flow through the tube three times before exiting the heat exchanger. The fluid enters the heat exchanger at one end and flows through one set of tubes before turning around and flowing back through second set of tubes in the opposite direction. And it turn back and flow through a third set of tubes in the opposite direction. This design increases the heat transfer efficiency of the heat exchanger, making it suitable for larger chiller systems with higher heat transfer requirements. This animation show the operation of shell and tube type cooler.